Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this JMeter tutorial. In this tutorial, we would be creating our first JMeter script based on some real-time scenarios. So let's begin. Now first understand the scenario and then we will map the scenario on the JMeter. So that will make you understand the need and how we can implement those things on the JMeter. So for example, you're working on an application, e-commerce application and business team or the client is planning to launch promotions on the near night. Okay, so this is a simple scenario and the business expectations are that all promotions should be available. Okay, and their users and customers should be able to avail the promotions without any problems. So this is a simple scenario and the business expectations. Now what can be the possible problem? The possible problem is that when the promotion will be launched, there might be unexpected user flow on the application, which may cause the slowness or even it can crash the application. So in this scenario, the users might not be able to avail the promotions and offers and company will eventually have the impact on their revenues. So now what is the solution? Solution is to check the application performance before you launch the application. Okay. So now let's take a test case here means a certain number of users would be accessing the application on the launch date or launch time. Right. So this is a scenario. Okay. In order to take an example here, just go to the browser and open this demo blaze.com. This is an application, sample application by the blaze meter. So you can use this application for the practice, but make sure that you should not put a much of the load on this application. Just try to learn the J meter. Okay. And use this application. But again, I'm repeating this thing. Do not put a load on this application. So this application will we will be using. Okay. Now just go back to your J meter. Okay. So this is the J meter and what we need first, we need to tell J meter that how many number of users will be accessing this application. Okay. Just right click on this one, add thread group. Okay. Let's do it with one thread on one user right now. Okay. Then what we need to do, we need to add assembler, a type of request. Okay. This add here a request. Then what we need, we need a results after this request. Okay. Just add here a listener, simple view results tree. Okay. So it's added under the thread group. Okay. Now just rename these things so that it would be easier to understand what is happening. Okay. Just name it as uh, maybe promotional launch load or something like that. You can name it accordingly. Then this would be, you know, your application right now. I'm naming it as application blaze demo. Okay. And so these are a few things we need to provide here. So what is the protocol here? If you go here, the protocol is HTTPS. Just copy from here. Go back to the JMeter and provide this protocol here. Okay. Then after the protocol, we need to provide this demo blaze.com. Okay. Just copy this one, go back here and just provide this one here. And we need to tell what kind of a request it is. Okay. So obviously we are sending a request and we are expecting to get some response. Okay. Now, now just check this request. Okay. Just I'm hitting this request. Okay. Just play this one. Yes. And okay. Saving this one and it will execute. Okay. So you can see in the view results tree, this request got successful. This is correct. This is mean green means this is done successfully okay and the response code is 200 and okay and this was a request we sent on the servers and these were the request headers and then this is a response data now just go back here in the jmeter and just clean the results from here and go to this thread group now change the number of threads to two now initially it was a functional test we just created the script. Now what we are doing, we are just putting a load. 
okay we are increasing the number of users here okay now let's send this request again and see now you see the request got successful twice okay so that's how you can create a very very simple and basic script uh, using jmeter for the performance so tomorrow your application needs to be launched on a certain time and the expected load might be maybe thousand users so you can add those thousand users here and run the script okay so this is a very simple way and very simple script in our upcoming sessions we will learn much more about the jmeter so keep watching this series Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. We hope that you have learned something today. See you in the next lecture. Thank you.